I don't know about you guys, but it's been a little rough out here in the gig world after spending an ungodly amount of time sitting in my car. <laughs> this is the best order that has come through. It's on Instacart. And I thought I'd take you guys along with me as we go shopping. I'll be back shortly for act two. What's up guys? I just pulled up here to Lowe's because I'm about to do my first bulky order. I'm not really sure if this would be considered a bulky order. I mean, this is just things that I normally wouldn't pick up from a grocery store. Not too long ago, I opted into receiving bulky orders just to have options on accepting some other batches from Instacart because you just never know how the payouts are going to be these days. And this order looks like they need a couple of fans. I mean, we're here in Texas. It's pretty hot. And I'm going to go over here and try to find these items and hopefully it doesn't take all week. The trick is always knowing what side of the store to come into. I think I might be on the right side of the store, but then again, maybe not. Quick question is, where do you keep your fans at? The fans are going to be right here. <clears throat> oh, like the ones you sit on the, like, um, like the floor fans. Oh, you're going to have to wait for the fans to come back in. Yeah, you're going to have so much like what I think she's doing here on her phone, you can always open up the Lowe's or Home Depot app, whatever store you're in, and search the item, and it'll tell you exactly what aisle you can find it on. So actually, I was heading to the right area there on aisle 26, so we're gonna go over there. Hopefully they have everything in stock and we can get out of here. I would consider this bulky. Some of these boxes look pretty big, but I mean, if we can handle three cases and five cases of water, we should be able to handle a couple of fan boxes, I would think. So in the grocery store, they have the barcodes for the UPC. Here, they're gonna have something that's called a SKU, and you can match it up what's in the app as well. So this number is the same number that's inside the app, so we know we're getting the right fan. I would hope they would also let us scan this too. Oh, that's a one. Tower fans, nope. This one is the one we need. And again, matching the skew, it looks like it's this one because the app didn't say what size. We don't want to get that one because that one's already been used, it looks like. So I've looked at about five of these already and none of the boxes look good. So I just sent a picture to the customer to let them know I'm going to try to pick the best one that's here because none of these boxes are in good shape. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. We're going to go into the Narnia. Wow, none of these this is probably the best one I've seen. A little David Bowie on top of it. Hey, we gotta make it work. We're out of here. Like the prompt said, we just wanna check out, avoid buying the warranty because the customer might not want those extended warranties. I think you have up to uh, two weeks to contact the store with your receipt and you can get it offline or just over the phone if you're a customer watching. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, I'll just come over. Oh, perfect. If I can find the number, I'll be all right. I think that's this one here. One, two, three. Right. And so is that one. Three. More than likely, it's going to ask do you want extended warranty. I would get one, but I'm doing Instacart, so I don't know if the customer's going to want that. Oh, true. So those three items, yep. find the extended warranties, print the receipt. Yes. Please. Okay. Thank there you, so you much go. For it's a... Take care. Appreciate it. Thank you. Not today, my friend, but thank you. You too. All right, so that wasn't bad. It actually wasn't bad at all. I was two minutes over the timer because I'm filming a freaking video. But if I was just in and out of there, I would probably already have this delivered. But all set. Funny thing is the car was originally declined when I went through because I hit the green button, which normally just bypasses everything and lets you go for credit. So if you're in Lowe's, you got to hit the X button and that's gonna give you the credit or line to run. I don't know, it was strange, but we got the receipt. Gonna go ahead and get this scanned in or take a picture of it, and, and then I'll be dropping this off to the customer. I don't even know if I heard that correctly. So the Girl Scout sells cookies and the Boy Scout sells crackers? Is that what he was asking me? Or did he say popcorn? I don't know, I have to go back and watch the video, but either way, couldn't stop today, my friend. Had to keep moving. I have to admit, I did not prep my back area. That sounds weird. I have to admit, I did not have the trunk area prepped for uh, this type of delivery. Although these boxes were fairly manageable, so I was able to just uh, squish them in there. But if you guys are gonna do uh, these types of deliveries, I would also recommend getting some things to protect your back area. When I got this wrap, since I know I was gonna be doing just deliveries in general, I had to put down a really strong protective rubber mat to just kind of help with keeping this thing looking decent. <laughs> and across the back seats, you might want to go to Dollar Tree and get one of these tarps. It's, it's the same kind of tarps that they put down for painters, but it's nylon, it's very, very strong strong and, and you also might recognize it as some of the same kind of material for those uh, ikea bags which i strongly recommend you guys get a, and that and a wagon when you're going to be doing just like regular grocery deliveries but anything to protect your car because 
doing this kind of stuff can beat your car up pretty bad. It looks like the customer just wrote me back. She's like, if those don't look good, a replacement uh, would be fine. I'm like, well, <laughs> that would have been nice to know while I was inside of the, uh, the store or the shop, but I found a box that looked actually pretty decent. It looks like they threw all the bad ones on top just to see if somebody would buy those and not want to dig, but I don't have a problem trying to find something decent for a customer because if it was my order, I would want somebody to take the time to get something that looks right for me. I mean, because you guys saw those boxes, they look like they've been through hell and back. So I just wasn't gonna just bring you anything. Love it when people change lanes without blinkers. They're there for a reason to let folks know what you're doing on the road. Psychopath. All right, we reached a red light. I'm gonna just text you back that we actually found, well, that I, you guys didn't do anything. I found a box that's actually worth bringing or delivering to her, so she should be fine. <laughs> So that's pretty much the end of that. Just close out the order. Quick little $18. Just picking up three items from Lowe's. I guess bulky items that they consider. So should you opt into having the bulky items as an option? I would say so. The simple fact, as I mentioned in my first video, you can see what you're going to go get. Just be smart and don't take something that's going to break your back. I woke up early today. None of the apps were really sending me anything. And that was the best order that came through Instacart. So I would have missed out on it if I wasn't opted in. All I'm saying, guys, is just keep your options open. Anyway, if you haven't watched that original video, go ahead and click here and watch it. I'm going to get back out on the road and finish the rest my day. Hope you guys are doing well and making your money. Catch you on the next video. Peace.